Hi everyone, welcome back to the Makeup Revolution channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this makeup look. I don't know if you can see on my eyes. I tried to do a kind of simple cut crease look and I thought this would be really nice for prom or any sort of special occasions or if you just want to wear this type of thing every day then that is completely fine. So I hope you enjoy. So to start off, I'm using um, some base colours. I'm just going to put some through my crease um, and I'm going to use the Flawless 3 palette for this. So let me just open this up. I'm going to start off by taking this colour here in my crease just as a matte transition shade and I'm bringing this all the way into my inner corners and I'm just going to lightly blend this palest shade just up to my brow bone a little bit higher. So now that I've got my transition shade down I'm just going to take a slightly darker colour so I'm going to take this kind of orangey colour here and I'm just going to put this slightly above my crease and I find it easier to do this when you look down into a mirror. So I'm just blending that slightly higher than my natural crease. Okay, so I know this looks a bit scary at the moment, but I'm just gonna take a clean brush and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. This brush has just got no product on it. I'm literally just using it to blend. I'm just gonna finally go in with a tiny little bit of a darker color. So I'm gonna use a teeny tiny bit of one of these dark brown shades at the end. And I'm literally just going to put a tiny bit of this on my outer corner and again, just drag a little bit of that through my crease just to deepen things up a little bit. Okay, so now that I've done those steps and blended in a few kind of transitional shades, I'm then taking the, what's this called? Okay, it's rubbed off of mine because I've had this in my makeup bag for ages, but I think this is um, one of the amazing metals foil eyeshadows. I, I have the shade Rose Gold here, and it's literally just like a cream eyeshadow. Sorry that mine is really messed up. It does come with the awesome liquid eye primer as well, which you can mix um, some of this and this onto a tray and kind of mix it all together. Um, but I find that this also does work by itself, or sometimes I will just mix a couple of these drops into here. So the easiest tool that I find to use um, to do this is actually one of the silicone brushes. If you watch my Instagram live, you will have seen me do this live, but I thought I would do a full video on it. Um, so this comes from the silicone eye brush set by Makeup Revolution, and I'm literally just going to pick some of this up on this brush. You could try and use a normal eyeshadow brush, but honestly, I find that you can get a lot more precise application of cream eyeshadows with this one, so it's really good for doing a cut crease. So, I'm literally just gonna start placing some of this onto my eyelid, and I'm just gonna do this very slowly, and you just want to drag this up to that crease that you've created slightly above your natural crease. As you can see, I'm starting to kind of carve out that line, which is why I really like using this brush, because as you can see, it's really thin, so you can really get up close to get that nice line. And I'm just slowly adding more product to just build up the color. And I'm just using the very tip of the brush to just Really try and make that line as crisp as I can. Okay, so hopefully you can see there that it's nicely kind of, you know, cut my crease. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye and then I'll be back. And just keep checking in the mirror looking at the other eye until you get them as even as you can. Okay, so now that I've done that on both of my eyes, I'm then just gonna go back in with this transition shade and I'm just gonna put some of this on the outer corners of my eyes just to kind of blend things together a little bit. And then again, I'm taking some of the darkest color and I'm gonna do the same. And that kind of turns it into a sort of half cut crease sort of thing, I guess. I'm then just gonna use some of those same transitional shades and I'm just gonna run them along my lower lash line. And you could obviously just leave it here and add eyeliner and mascara, but I think I want to add a little pop of color to this. So I'm just gonna take the um, bright pink color from this Flawless palette and I'm just gonna run that along my lower lash line. And then on my inner corners, I'm just taking this pale shimmery color here. 
Okay, so to finish this off, I'm just gonna add some eyeliner and mascara and then I'll be right back. So I've just added the mascara and eyeliner and this is the finished look. I did also manage to poke myself in the eye with the mascara wand, so I don't recommend doing that. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also make sure you are subscribed to the Makeup Revolution channel because we are posting every single week, three videos a week. So if you wanna see some new videos, then make sure you're subscribed. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.